Now, we will look at each of these elements in details or each of the ways of attaining happiness in detail. Tattva bodh. So, when we say bodh means to know intrinsically tattva which is essence of anything in the Indian tradition and in yogic tradition we say that knowledge is not only about logical cognition, it takes place at at least the four levels or the five levels in the Panchakosha we looked at Annamaya Kosh, Manomaya Kosh, Pranamaya Kosh, Vijnanamaya Kosh and Anandamaya Kosh. Cognition takes place at all four levels, then only Anand occurs. I am not following that typology here because that is primarily given for the Brahma Vidya. For the normal Vidya and normal education, Sri Aravindo, the great yogi of the modern ages, he has given the typology or the different layers of self and he calls these layers as physical, vital, mental and supramental. Supramental is comparable with the Anandamaya Kosh, we are not going to talk about that because that is more transcendental in nature. If we look at the physical, vital and mental which constitute most of our day to day experience knowledge must be understood in the context of in light of at the level at the level of physical vital and mental aspects of human self physical aspects we all know it's the body body also knows that is different thing that many a time we do not give attention to what body knows and what body what signal body gives, but body has its own intelligence. You must have sense, uh, it reacts to uh, towards some kind of food, some kind of people, some kind of situation and that experience may not be cognitive, may not be logical, you feel something within. In the body itself you feel something. In the modern psychology, it is known as interoception. Interoception meaning it is uh, of different direction of perception. Perception is looking outward and interoception is looking inward. Interoception can be translated as antah drishti. Psychomotor, we all know, psychomotor is a, a very important aspect of knowledge. The whole field of athletics or dance and uh, any activities which are related to the uh, physical action, they talk about the psychomotor capability that is one aspect of knowledge and in the psychology now we also are talking about embodied knowing. So, there is something which our body knows which is much beyond much subtler deeper and many a time more reliable than our logical inferences. So, Tattva Bodh has to be at the physical level as well. When we are knowledgeable about these things, when we have a strong psychomotor interoception and embodied knowing, we can make our life more happy. The second level in the Tattva Bodh is vital, which is comparable to Pranamaya Kosh, which is about the energy body. That is where we experience emotional awareness. Emotional awareness meaning even before language, even before cognition, even before worldly articulation, we can feel certain things. So, knowledge at vital is about that. Knowledge or tattva bodh at mental level is about logical, rational, uh, intellectual knowledge. Tattva bodh ultimately result into wisdom and wisdom is combination of knowing at all four levels and as I told you we are not discussing much about the level four because that is deeply experiential aspect. Even if we look at only first three aspects wisdom can be understood 
as the synthesis of physical, vital and mental aspects. If we look at in more detail, these levels are related to mechanical and repetitive character that is the first physical level. The next physical level is more subconscious and sometime even unconscious. So, unconscious capability we all know some people with the practice or sometime by birth have the inherent uh, capability to bowl better, to play some, uh, uh, some game better or to do certain activities better that is the uh, deeper level of physical knowing. But the primary level of physical knowing is more conscious, mechanical, repetitive in nature. Vital can also be at three levels, emotional vital, central vital and lower vital. Emotional vital is uh, that is a various feelings such as joy, love, sorrow, hatred, rest etcetera. There is a central vital that includes stronger vital longings and reactions such as ambition, pride, fear love of fame, attraction, repulsion, desires, passions of various kinds. Then there is also a lower vital which is comparable to id of uh, our uh, Freudian psychology that occupied with the small desires and feeling, desire for food, sex, small likes, quick likes, dislike, vanity, quarrel, anger, blame, some of the lower uh, emotions, more raw emotions which is uh, generally attributed to id aspect of uh, our self that is included in the lower vital. Mental aspect has also three levels, thinking mind, dynamic mind and externalizing mind. Thinking mind is concerned with ideas and knowledge that is related to reasons and perceives with ideas of infinity, eternity, unity, identity, self contradiction etcetera. That considers and finds out the value of things. So, that is the aspect of our intellect which makes the judgment, which discriminates. Then there is a dynamic mind that is concerned with putting out of mental forces for realization of some idea. So, uh, that is the engine for uh, vital or the emotional aspect. You remember we looked at the uh, aspect of self as an allegory of the chariot uh, in the previous session. Then there is an externalizing mind that is concerned with expression of ideas and knowledge and mental forces in life by any form such as speech. So, uh, externalizing is what is reflected in, in the speech, in my action. Uh, Dynamic mind is that that is the force behind controlling or directing the emotions and thinking mind is even the uh, uh, bigger uh, force, intellectual force which makes the final judgment about things. Tattva bodh at physical level can be called interoception or psychomotor knowledge. Tattva bodh at vital level is about emotional awareness. Tattva bodh at mental level is about knowledge which what we consider we, we call knowledge which is intellectual, rational, uh, logical, result of comparison, synthesis, evaluation, uh, Bloom's taxonomy uh, talks about the cognitive levels that is primarily related to the mental level. And Tattva bodh at integral level is called wisdom or pragya. Pragya can be also of uh, a different order, higher order which is called Ritambhara Pragya. Ritambhara Pragya is the constituted of the word Rit which holds the Rit that kind of wisdom. And what is Rit? Rit is the universal order. When person becomes wise to the level he or she can experience and understand the universal order and choose his or her action which are in line with the universal order. That person is supposed to have that faculty called Ritambhara Pragya. These, so, there are different levels of wisdom as well as there are different levels of knowledge. So, wisdom also has a different levels uh, as there are different levels of joy 
joy we discussed in the last session uh, as described in the Anandavalli Tattri Upanishad, different levels of joy. Uh, you might remember the uh, one degree of joy of the very youthful, all capable uh, human being uh, is if taken as one unit, then 100 units of this, uh, 100 times of this unit constitute one unit of uh, joy of a uh, Mano Gandharv and uh, then the Deva Gandharva, Pitra, etcetera, etcetera, at different levels of joy. So, wisdom also is considered to be of different levels of uh, uh, possibility, uh, but is inherently uh, wisdom is about a integration of physical, vital and mental aspect of self and the journal of uh, American Medical Association, the very famous journal JAMA uh, and the JAMA Psychiatry. Uh, uh, journal, it talks about six aspects of wisdom. So, there is a, a well developed wisdom literature in the uh, psychology and neurobiology and neuropsychology uh, streams and they talk about six things, self reflection, emotional regulation, pro-social behavior such as empathy and compassion, decisiveness, spirituality, acceptance of uncertainty. As the six uh, aspects or six factors of wisdom. Now, this is a very famous uh, review, you can go through this. This paper talks about different interventions done for enhancing the wisdom and then they have found that there are, wis uh, there are interventions available at emotional regulation, pro-social behavior and uh, I think decisiveness, but there are uh, lack of studies on the interventions which aim at enhancing self reflection, spirituality, acceptance of uncertainty etcetera. So, uh, uh, the modern literature of wisdom is falling very parallel to uh, Tattva Bodha, that is what I wish to convey.